It is so much fun to be here in the States and to be with you and know that you're praying for missionaries all over the world. This week, we're going to go to a lot of different countries, and today we're going to go to Kenya. Kenya's on the eastern part of Africa. You're going to hear stories from Kristen and how she's working among getting kids off the streets, young men off the streets, but I want you to notice how much she loves the people, how much she knows they need God's love, and how much the lives that she's touching is going to touch others. Thanks for praying with us this week. Nani ya mawai shikuwa na polisi? Nani ya mawai kuliwa na chawa? Nani ya mawai lala nja kwa street? Nani ya mawai dhurumiwa kimapenzi ama anajua mtu wa mawai dhurumiwa kwa street? Kudhurumiwa kimapenzi? Whenever I was hanging out with the boys, people would come to me and be like, you know these boys are dangerous. You know these boys are going to hurt you. You know you shouldn't be here. I mean, they're just despised by everyone. Only a few understand that these are just normal children who have been forced to the streets with different circumstances. They're not loved. They're actively insulted and abused and kicked. Show them love and they will respond with love. Show them a bad attitude and they will repel from you. They are just children. In 2009, 2010, I was serving as a photographer with the International Mission Board. And one of my last assignments was a story on a young lady working with street kids in Nairobi, Kenya. I would spend from four in the morning to 10 at night with this group of 20 kids getting to know them, hearing why they were on the streets. And the whole time I was like, oh my gosh, the Lord is going to call somebody to work with these kids. Like somebody needs to come do something. So I finally just said, Lord, are you calling me to go work with those boys? And I had peace. Like I knew that that's what I was being called to do. Hopefully 13 boys will come to the shelter this morning um, and they'll be rescued off the streets. Honestly, there were so many years that I worked on the streets in Nairobi without a place to take boys. I would just get to know them and help them like in the small ways that I could. Um, and the fact that God has provided the shelter um, and given us opportunity to be rescuing kids off the streets and make a real difference in their life. It's really exciting. Like, life will not be the same for these boys. And Naivasha Children's Shelter, our mission is to rescue them from the streets, to help them to be rehabilitated, to get off drugs, to go through trauma counseling. And as much as we see that these kids need food and they need education and they need a bed to sleep in, they do, they need all of those things. But what they really need is the love of a family. They need to belong somewhere. They need to be well cared for. They need to know that they're loved. And we show them that through the love that the social workers give them here. We show them that by pointing to the love of Christ and we show them that by putting them back in their family where they belong with people who love them. One of our social workers, Elphis, will spend hours looking for one kid that's lost that he wants to be able to have a new life. Um, and it's not just Elphis, all of the social workers at the shelter are amazing. They go to the streets every day and every night they get to know the boys, they get to hear their story, know why they came to the streets, know what happened in their family, and offer them a way out. I talk to them, I make them understand that despite everything that you're going through, there is hope and there is someone who cares. That's why I'm here. I had seen enough of orphanages, I had worked with enough organizations that I knew the best place for any child is in their family. And we don't just take them home and drop them off. What we do is we spend a lot of time going to the family and finding out what sent that child to the streets? Was it the influence of peers? Was it poverty at home? And then spend a lot of time working on that issue with the family. Every child that's placed back at home, they follow them until they reach the age of 18 or they finish school. Just to make sure that child has no chance of going back to the streets, everything is fine, they have enough food, they're in school, they invest their lives in these children. I'm sure that these kids, if given a chance, and a place to make their lives, for sure they are going to change and make a better generation to come.
I just want to sincerely say thank you. It is because of Southern Baptist that I am able to be here. The shelter is able to keep running. I'm able to serve in this way because of your gifts to the Lottie Moon Christmas Offering and the Cooperative Program. And it's miraculous to see a child that was alone living on the streets and hopeless uh, reunited with their family. This is the model that works. This is what helps to get kids back home where they should be and where they want to be.